All right, guys, what is going on? My name is Ollie Ward, and welcome back to the Ollie Ward channel. I hope you all had a fantastic Wednesday and you're ready for some Leeds United transfer news. But as always, guys, before we do get into the transfer news, be sure to smash that like button. Let's go for 500 likes on this video. Guys, the support recently has been fantastic. We nearly hit 1,000 likes on the last video. How? I don't know, but I'm not complaining. Get down there and smash that like button right now. Also, subscribe if you're new. I asked for 11.5K, bit cheeky of me, and we smashed it. So get down there right now and subscribe. I'm going to give you three seconds. One. One, two, and three. And today, comment your score prediction for West Brom versus Leeds, or should I say Leeds versus West Brom this Friday. Let me know in the comments down below. Are Leeds going to get their first win of the season? Who knows? Let me know in the comments down below. Without further ado, let's get into the Leeds United news. So we start off with Nonto, a third bid from Everton. Is Nonto leaving Leeds United to sign for Everton? Obviously, that's been in talks for the whole of this transfer window as Willie Nonto is refusing to play for Leeds United and he wants out of the club. According to sources, Everton have made a third bid for Willie Nonto. This is amounting to £25 million, including add-ons. The young Italian wants out of Ellen Road, so would you accept this offer? Would you guys accept this offer? Let me know in the comments down below. I believe it's a thing where Willie Nonto doesn't want to be here. So let's get him gone. Let's get some money for him. He's training by himself at the moment because he doesn't want to be here. So if they have gone 25 million, if it's 20 million up front and then, oh no, I don't know. No, 25 million up front and then including add-ons. I, I would personally take it. What about you guys? If you guys want to keep Nonto, fair enough. But I think the love is lost there between fans and player. I don't think he can ever come back from it personally. But I don't know. I want to know what you guys think about this. Should Willie Nonto play for Leeds United again? Or should Leeds United accept the reported 25 million bid, including add-ons, from Everton? Let me know in the comments down below. Next up, I've put here Sinny and Adams to stay? Question mark. Obviously, this has been the whole key thing. Is is Sinny stand? Is Adams stand? Is Nonto stand? It's been the whole talk of the whole transfer window. But according to Graham Smith, relegation clauses have now expired fired, which means Leeds are now in control of their transfers. So that's why Bournemouth decided to stall the deal for Adams as the relegation clause had expired. So that's the whole Adams situation. The whole Sinny situation is a bit different. Obviously, Farker has come out and said there's more legal stuff to do with this one. My thoughts are, and I've seen a couple of people say this on Twitter, is that a team has gone for his relegation clause after the expiry date and I believe they're now working it out legally if this is still okay that's personally what I believe it is if I'm being completely honest but I don't know I could be completely wrong there but I think a club has come after Sinistera the relegation clause has expired but they've, they've like triggered it after it's expired maybe just by a few hours or whatever and then legally they have to sort it out like that I don't know. I might be chatting out my ass, but either way, that's what I think it is. Like I said um, earlier Nonto is training by himself so is Sinny and so is Helder Costa all three players look like they might be leaving this summer. Helder Costa, definitely. Nonto, most likely. Sinny, we could maybe see him play for Leeds United again. Uh, and apparently, Adams has returned to training, which is good. But yeah, how long will they be Leeds United players? Let me know in the comments down below. But it's a good start. It's a good start that, you know, the relegation clauses are gone. Leeds are more in control of these transfers. We can demand money if people want to leave. But we've got, no, we don't have to let people leave now, which is decent, which is a good start. Next up, we're talking Farker comments that he made in his presser today. And it really showed why he's the best thing that's happened to Leeds in a long time. Maybe since Marcelo Bielsa, I believe Daniel Farker has been. He's just being honest and saying things uh, like no player is bigger than the club in regards to the disciplinary, uh, disciplinary action Sorry, taking towards Nonto. I really like that. No player is bigger than the club. Cyber for self. I really like that. Farker gets leads. Um, he also said Sam Greenwood returns to the squad, but admits our squad for Friday is very thin, which isn't good. This is a man who needs transfers, needs players, wants to know what the situation is. And I think he's dealing with it so calm and so great. And I've got a massive respect for Daniel Farker. I don't believe he deserves any of this that's been going on. And he, you know, in the future, he's been saying, yes, yeah, so obviously in the future, we need to be sure that this doesn't happen again. Really good impression. Let me know in the comments out of 10. What would you rate that? I'm giving it a solid 10 out of 10. But yeah, Daniel Farker speaks a bit like this. We're really excited for Friday. Um, I, <laughs> I don't know either. Uh, but yeah, so that's good. He's looking good. No player is bigger than the club. I love that from Daniel Farker. Next up, uh, we're talking Leo Hielder. He also did say Farker in, he, he said that uh, Leo would miss the game against uh, West Brom because he did have a head injury from training. But there's also been recent speculation that Leo is off. Apparently this deal is not close at all and Leeds want to keep Leo Hielder. There was a, a I think it was a Serie A club that were looking 
at Leo Pielda, but I believe Leeds do want to keep on to it as the left back spot already is very thin. We've only got Sam Barham there, Furpo's injured, and Leo Pielda. That's all we need. We need to bring in a lot more players. We really do. And I think you guys already know that. Next up, we're talking a couple of incomings. There's nothing here. I just believe these are targets. Either way, Lewis O'Brien has been the talking point for the last two, three years when it comes to Leeds United. But Forrest don't want to sell Lewis O'Brien to a rival Premier League club, but are more than happy to loan out to a championship club. To me, this makes perfect sense. Always been a big fan of him myself. Um, I really like him and we'd, he would be the perfect fit next to Ampadu. He just would. I, I, I don't think... I, the thing is, I think it's too easy. The jigsaw fits a bit too well, you know? Why wouldn't we go from him? I know a lot of championship clubs like the look of him and there's been a lot of speculation that a lot of decent championship clubs do like Lewis O'Brien. And why wouldn't you? The bloke's a decent footballer, okay? He's very good. And I think it just makes perfect sense to bring a Lewis Bryan next to Ampadu. Tell me I'm wrong. Like, literally tell me I'm wrong. I think he would be perfect. But of course, because it is perfect, it probably won't happen. But I believe Leeds should target Lewis O'Brien. And next up, um, Taylor Harwood-Bellis and Jake Cooper. These are the latest rumours. So Taylor Harwood Bellis obviously was at Burnley last year. And Jake Cooper, who is at Millwall. Uh, both defenders are on the cards for Leeds United and other championship clubs. Um, but both centre backs are on the radar for Leeds. They're tall, they're big centre backs. I believe, you know, Jake Cooper is wanting out of Millwall. I'm not 100% sure Ty Taylor Harwood Bellis. I know his sister. Did I tell you guys I know his sister? There we are. Yeah, I'll get him to. You coming, Taylor, mate? You coming round? What? I don't know. Either way, uh, Leeds are both looking at it. They're both on the radar. I don't know why we'd bring in more centre-backs. I kind of understand. I mean, we brought in Joe Roden. Joe Roden with Taylor harwood Bellis next to him. That could work. I don't know. Either way, Leeds are looking at these two centre-backs. And just a little final thing from me. Win Friday, sign players next week, and keep on to key faces. We will be okay. Okay, there's a bit of positivity at the end of this show, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I believe, I don't know if we win, we will win Friday, but if we did, it would be a massive boost. We then go sign eight players next week. We keep on to Cine, keep on to Adams. We've got a decent little squad going. But, you know, I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just trying to think, you know, maybe... That could happen. I don't think it will. But you never know. You never know, ladies and gentlemen. But guys, this has been the latest Leeds United news. Just to wrap things up, Nonto third bid from Everton. Do you accept it? Let me know in the comments down below. Cine and Adams to say this is kind of according to, you know, relegation clauses have now expired. We've got more, you know, uh, we've got more... What am I trying to say? Control of our transfers, I guess, and prices. Uh, next up, uh, obviously, Farker comments. He made really good comments today. No player is bigger than the club. Leo Hielda looks like he's going to stay at Leeds. Lewis O'Brien, we should target. And Taylor Harwood, Bellis, and Jake Cooper are on the radar for Leeds United. Guys, I've waffled on. There's not been too much news. I've kind of made news out of nothing there. But there is something there to hopefully you guys enjoy. I don't know. And you got a Daniel Farker impression in there. Let me know. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Guys, I've been Ollie Ward. I need to stop rambling on now. Um, I hope you've all enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheery. Oh.